In this question, we have to deduce that the average intensity over the entire surface of the Earth is equal to approximately 245 watts per meter squared. Let's start by calculating the intensity at the surface of the Earth for the section of the Earth which is illuminated by the rays of the Sun at any given time. To visualize this a little bit better, imagine shining a light on a ball. You will notice that only part of the ball's surface area will be illuminated by the light. So to calculate the intensity at the illuminated surface area of the Earth, we will multiply 0.7 by 1400. Since the albedo of the atmosphere is 0.3, 30% of the intensity that reaches the surface of the atmosphere is reflected back into space. This means that 70% or 0.7 part of this intensity reaches the surface of the Earth. This is why we multiply by 0.7. This gives us 980 watts per meter squared. So this is the intensity at the illuminated part of the surface of the Earth. Next, let's calculate the average intensity over the entire surface of the Earth. To do this, we have to find what fraction of the entire surface is illuminated by the Sun at any given moment. The area illuminated by the Sun is a circle that has a radius that is equal to the radius of the Earth. The area of this circle can be expressed as pi r squared, where r is the radius of the Earth. We will have to divide this by the entire surface area of the Earth. Since the Earth is a sphere, its surface area can be calculated by 4 pi r squared. And since we're looking for the intensity, we will multiply this by 980. We can cancel pi r squared from the numerator and the denominator. And carrying out this calculation, we get 245 watts per meter squared, which is what we want it to show. As an interesting fact, note that based on this fraction here, we can see that about one quarter of the Earth is illuminated by the Sun at any given time.